What's up guys, my name is Align, also known as the Bearded Bear, and today I'm working on my 97 Jeep Cherokee Sport. I developed a bit of an issue over the past week, which involves the neutral safety switch. Uh, I am getting a P0705, which indicates neutral safety switch, as well as a P0700 and a P0758. The 758 has to do with one of the shift solenoids, and I've deduced that considering my neutral safety switch uh, being on the fritz, I'm not having starting issues or anything, but um, it looks like... Uh, it doesn't know which gear it's actually in, if it's in third or if it's in drive, which is causing the check engine light to come on and the torque converter to lock and stay in third gear when over 40 miles an hour. Um, doing a little work off camera so you guys don't see me getting frustrated, but this thing is the connector to the body for the neutral safety switch, and this is the actual neutral safety switch connector. There's three zip ties that hold it onto the harness uh, right onto the, the basically the body of the transmission and you snip those you go underneath there's a 12 millimeter bolt which I have taken out already and a pain in the ass uh, lever retention retention thing it's uh, 7 eighths is the wrench I use to loosen that one up uh, but right now it's just a matter of prying it away from the body of the chat of the actual transmission itself um, I'm at a loss right now because I can't actually pry it away. Uh, it's all plastics So it's a little bit brittle and I don't want to break it because the part is legitimately $300 from every source I've looked at um, I'm gonna keep trying to get it off once I get it off. I'll be back. I'll show you what it looks like Okay so I'm not gonna lie, this thing took way longer to get off than I wanted. Um, <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> so, like I said before, it's only that one 12 mil millimeter, and then this thing. Um, how it works? It's all held on by pressure, except for that one 12 millimeter, and it's like a gated kind of a little hole that it has so you can do an adjustment because you could put this on and it'll be working perfectly but if it's not adjusted um, it's like this uh, if it's not adjusted up and down uh, in the right way you, you won't be able to start the truck now uh, it may be in park but not in neutral and it'll cause issues when driving it won't shift um, from first to second or it won't shift from third to overdrive yeah, fourth, I, whatever, doesn't matter. It's uh, the AW4 transmission. Apparently th this thing is an issue and I never knew about it until it actually became an issue. So now what I have to do is remove the six Phillips head screws and pretty much just hit it with brake clean, um, stretch out the little springs that are in there to kind of get a little more tension. Um, so the signal can, you know, actually do what it needs to do. Uh, and a little dielectric grease. My problem is I started this project without dielectric grease, so I will need to probably Uber to the parts store. And it, yeah, I messed up, but whatever, it's off. Uh, <laughs> finally, uh, I, I have some kind of a release at least because I hate when things don't go my way when I'm working on trucks and I just start getting mad and throwing stuff I didn't do that today I just put a pry bar and put all my fat into it and it, it popped off because it wasn't before so let me get into this and I'll show you what it looks like on the inside all right so um, instead of diving in and just starting to take it apart without having the parts I need or the cleaning solutions that I need I went and I got what I needed, uh, some CRC QD electric cleaner, it's pretty much, it's for connections to just clean it up, make sure all the solvents are off of it, make a better connection, and some dielectric grease, it's the same brand of uh, 
that I use for all like the sealants and gasket makers and all that stuff. So now I'm gonna take this apart. Join me while I do that, and yeah, hopefully this fixes it. All right, so heck, uh, there's these six screws. Um, just kind of have to take them all off. It's a P2, I believe, screwdriver. Yeah, my screwdriver is old as hell. Like, heck, I can't tell, but I'm pretty sure it's a P2. Get these off real quick. Even though the screws are pretty rusted, um, <laughs> they're coming off actually pretty easily. Um, little, if any, kind of tension on them. So, when putting them back on, just remember, don't over tighten. Uh, the one side of this is cast aluminum, I want to say, and uh, the other side is plastic. So you will crack the plastic side if you over tighten it. Um, like so. And yeah, let me show you what this looks like. Mm. Can you switch off, please? <laughs> um, yeah, this looks like crap. I think I'm boned. I don't even know how this was working until now, to be completely honest. It, let me try to clean it up and see what it'll look like, but this this doesn't look good. All right, so I've taken the pieces apart and it's it's not as bad as I thought it was originally. Um, it's it's really dirty, so I could see why the, the part was having issues, but I cleaned it off a little bit and uh, it's a little dark, let's see if I can get it. So you can see the, these stripes right here, these are metal contacts and they're not that bad. Um, I have some sandpaper, I'm gonna try to sand them down a little bit to try to clean the connections themselves. Uh, I figure if I stretch the little springs on this arm, they go inside these little holes here uh, with other contacts. Once I sand those down, stretch the springs, I'll have enough contact that this should start working again. So, wish me luck. Let's see what happens. That's my mom. Thank you. <laughs> All right, those are the two little contacts on the arm itself. I'm gonna clean the arm out because this thing was a pain in the ass to get out. Um, I've cleaned it as best I could so far, but I'm gonna hit it with my wire brush to get the rest of the corrosion out. So. <sighs> so, while I was taking this thing out, like I said before, that little, this, where the hell? Got it. This thing goes on here. It press fits onto a shaft that comes out of the actual transmission. It's, you know, a little rectangle kind of thing. You can see it there. Now, what you're supposed to do is loosen it enough so you can get a pry bar in underneath a screwdriver or something to start wiggling the actual assembly itself off. Um, problem is, the threads ended up 
you could see them sort of there. They started splitting off the actual shaft itself, which gave me problems getting the damn thing out. So it's okay now because I can get the nut on there. I just you can't use the I won't if I need to get this off again, I'm gonna have to get it off the same way I did before, which was pry bar behind the actual assembly on the um it's actually on the plastic and I think I may have cracked it a little bit but it looks okay um I just kind of heaved it off with all my might it came off but uh this might be my only shot at uh getting this thing fixed so I'm gonna keep you know keep going at this which I do see another issue a lot of rust there um don't believe that's where the connection is but it's right where the wires are so I'm gonna hit it with some dielectric grease all right no cleaner um. <sighs> that came off really easy actually yeah no that has nothing to do with the connection so we're good there um, I'm gonna continue on these contacts The contacts are really like mushed as if this thing it's had a hard life. It has had a hard life. I, for the last like 25, 30,000 miles, it's lived with me. It's been a hard life for this truck. Um, but before that, the owner did not take care of this thing at all. Um, also, I didn't mention, but when I did the front fascia, I didn't have to use any zip ties. Realize now I probably should have mentioned that in the video, but no zip ties were used. I was able to find a way to get it all to work I found clips and everything it turned out actually really well but besides the point this is now very clean and hit it with some of this stuff it's still a little grime in there I'd like to get out How about that? Nice and shiny. There are contacts in there, huh? <laughs> yeah, this. I still gotta clean this. So give me a minute. Let me clean this. I'll do it off camera. Much better. I gotta put grease in it now. So all my hard work, I'm just gonna get greasy again. really scared about losing these little springs and I don't see them right now I just move them there they are put those on here so I don't lose them again hey got a little bit of a mess going on here oh well so about these little packs like I said I'm gonna smear these on and I'm probably gonna have to go get new gloves. Maybe not. A little off topic, but lately, well, you can't tell I'm Hispanic, and I've never actually been very into Spanish music, if at all, but 
is this one song um, that YouTuber Baker X Derek, he's a motor vlogger, he has as his intro song, and his videos are funny as hell, but besides the point, that song has been stuck in my head for the last like two, three weeks, and it's great. <laughs> I'll, I'll try to link it in the description so you guys can get addicted to it too, but yeah, it, good stuff. Anyway, nice and neat. There we go, some grease on there. Um, I don't want to bore you, but I'm going to put the little the springs and the little connectors on the arm and grease that up as well. I'll be right back. There you go. <laughs> the springs, stretching them a little. You can see that they're popped up a little bit. So now, with the help of gravity, I'm going to put this back on. Uh, gasket looks all right. Yeah, with the assist of gravity, we'll uh, put it all back together and test it out. Like I was saying before, um, that 12 millimeter that actually holds this to the ch to the transmission itself is slotted um, with the bolt, but the actual that this hole right here. Um, probably gonna have to play with it a few times to get it right. Um, hopefully it works. My issue again wasn't starting uh, the engine. The engine started no problem. It just it was getting stuck in third gear, um, fourth gear, uh, third gear with an overdrive. It was getting stuck at third gear. Trans torque converter would lock. Not fun. Uh, I was what I was doing to get this thing to not lock up was putting it in neutral before starting, uh, reading the codes, clearing the codes, and then starting in neutral. And as long as I didn't turn the car off, the check engine would not come on and it would not lock out my transmission. So as far as I'm concerned, it shifts through all the gears. Um, at least it was when before I got the P0758. That happened yesterday. Um, I don't believe the shift solenoid is bad. I just think this thing, being as corroded as it was, didn't know what the hell it was doing. Um, reading online, this thing controls shift points uh, as well as reverse lights and starting and stopping the car. So it's more than just a neutral safety switch, although that's all they call it. So there you go, back together. Um, it moves. Now it's just putting it back in the car, which means getting under the car and contorting, and it's not my favorite thing to do. So let me get under there, do what I gotta do, and uh, I'll be back with you guys once it's on, and we'll test starting this car. Let's do this. All right, so I. I've test fitted the part, um, same part, it doesn't matter, it fits, but um, I have it like pretty much central to where that slot is. I'm currently, there we go, I'm currently, this thing right here, I'm reading the codes on the, on the actual uh, ECU and transmission right now. As of right now, it has the transmission P0700. Um, I haven't started it, I'm just gonna erase the codes. It's hot as hell in Jersey. Like, what is happening? All right, right now, no codes. Let's see if it starts. No start. I'll be right back. I moved it slightly. Let's see. 
It started! <laughs> Let's let it run for a second because it didn't want to start for a second. Now this is the cheat. I, I started in neutral. So now... I have to tighten it up. Give me one second. I'll be right back. So I'm back. I tightened up the actual NSS in the spot that it started. I'm going to try start it again. We started. No check engine yet. Now here's the here's the test. I over <laughs> I over tightened something. Give me right back. I'll be right back. Hold on. All right. What I over tightened was the shaft where that nut uh, goes onto to like press fit everything. What it happens is if I could. Sorry about my palm. Let me see. Oh, all right. Well, this you'll see right now. It's very tough to shift through the gears. Now, so professional. I know. Oh my goodness. Good? <laughs> All right, it's in park now. I gotta see if it starts. Next thing is actually driving it, seeing if it goes through all the gears. So I've uh, gone ahead and closed my garage. I'm gonna let this warm up for a second. I'm gonna close the hood, I'll be right back. Driver's side of the hood won't close. I, I'll fix that later. It's in reverse. It's in drive now. It's going into the gears, so I'm okay there. All right, it's in first. Second, it shifted. first no check engine yet second still in second third now it won't shift into overdrive until I hit over 40 um, that's when the torque converter will lock uh, if the check engine comes on um, as, as of right now no check engine everything looks good this is the first time I've been able to do this in over a week uh, like I said, I've had to clear the codes and start in neutral uh, before I'm even able to set off every single time I uh, turn the car off and turn it back on. Um, it seems okay. Uh, I am a little frustrated about the shifter um, being tight, but I'm, if the truck works, I'm not worried about it. That's... <laughs> That's like my uh, my motto with this thing. It, it's falling apart. There, there's. I've checked underneath. There's certain spot welds which I'm gonna have to go over again with a welder that have. that are starting to rust that I'm. I need to take care of. There, there is surf. There is some rust on the chassis that I'm just starting to notice. And I'm pretty sure it happened over this past winter. All right, shifted into second. Third. All right, it's shifting very smoothly right now. I really hope this was the issue and I actually fixed it because that means I fixed something for free. Second. yet it, it seems to be working though I, I think I've solved this one and I am 
very, very happy about this situation. This truck has been nothing but headaches when it comes to trying to fix like little issues, but this seems to be an issue that I have finally locked down. Park. Let's go ahead and reread the codes. Zero DTCs. Um, I will restart the uh, the actual uh, code reader itself, the my OBD2 reader, and let it go through its paces to reread every single ECU and make sure that there's no um, pending codes. Uh, obviously, there's no fault because the check engine's not on. Um, it looks like I'm in good shape right here, guys. I, I <laughs> yes, it, if this works and there's no DTCs today, being it's very early, it's only noon, uh, it, it's shaping up to be a very good day. And as you guys know, I aim for every day to be a good day. All right, it, this is the part where it takes forever. It's uh, scanning the CAN system, which I think the only CAN system in the car is the actual transmission to the ECU. Um, Give me a second, I'll be right back once it's all scanned. All right guys, they finished reading. Here are the results. No codes. Yes! I have fixed it. This thing has been such a pain in my ass for the last week and no more deleting codes before starting. It is fixed. It has gone through all the gears. My transmission is still in good working order. It shifts smooth and now I don't have anything to worry about. Go figure. Um, for the cost of cleaning agents that I should have already had, I saved myself $300. Um, there you go. DIY. Do it yourself. Get dirty. For the cost of two hours of my life, I just saved myself labor and like good chunk of change for a part that is that was just dirty um again look guys if you like this video please like comment subscribe share uh, i know i've been slacking with my videos i i've had personal things come up in the past few weeks um I, they've been few and far between but i do plan on being much more consistent i understand consistency is what what gets you an audience but I want to develop this audience. I, I want to talk to you guys. Comment. Let me know what you think. Tell me where I can improve. If Tell me what you like, what, what you want to see more of. Uh, I'll be here. I'll listen. I do comment back. And until next guy time, guys, today was a good day. I'm going to go and continue my good day by taking a shower and figuring something out socially to go do. Um, my next video will probably be with that Lotus you guys saw me in in my last video, which you can click or tap right there to watch. Uh, if you've not subscribed, please do so by click or tapping right there. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.